Yes, sir. What's your name? Regent. Regent. How are you doing, Regent? Yes. Um, I just have two questions. Mm -hmm. The first question is, do you believe that morally good people, um, I guess that's kind of a very vague term, but at, I guess, the general uh, face value of the term, generally moral people uh, who have not heard that Jesus came to save them um, go to hell if they haven't heard that. There is no such person that's morally good. Because what do you mean by good, right? We're all sinners. Yeah, we may be better than our neighbors, but we're still fallen. Now, here's the question. The real question that goes like this is, some people will say, well, Jesus, or will God send me to hell because I don't believe in Jesus? The answer is no. You don't go to hell because you don't believe in Jesus. You go to hell because you've sinned. That's like saying, do you die because you didn't go to the doctor? No, you die because you have a disease. Now, maybe if you had gone to the doctor, you could have prevented death, just like if you go to the great physician, you can prevent death. But the reason we die, the reason we're separated from God is because of our sin, not because we didn't believe in Jesus. There's other sins that we've committed long before we didn't believe in Jesus. It is, of course, a sin not to trust in, the, in, in, in God, but there's other sins that have already gotten us in that problem. But the question is a good one about what those, what those that have never heard so let's just take a quick look at that because what about those that have never heard? Now, Christians will disagree on this a little bit, but here's the way I see it anyway. First of all, Christ's sacrifice is necessary for salvation. Whether or not you have to know Christ's sacrifice is the question. I'm not, never going to suggest that you can get to heaven without Christ. The question is, do you have to know Christ in order to get to heaven? And here are the possibilities. Some argue that they can be saved by Christ's sacrifice if they seek God, even though they don't know the name of Jesus. In the Old Testament, this was true, correct? Nobody knew the name of Jesus, but they were still saved because they trusted in Yahweh. But the more biblically consistent view since then is that God will get true seekers the truth about Christ so they can be saved. Like in, in Acts 10, Cornelius, he's a believer in God, Yahweh, but he doesn't know who Jesus is, so they get him Jesus. In fact, it could be that God has so ordered the world so that those who never hear the gospel wouldn't have believed it anyway. I mean, we know people who hear the gospel and don't believe it, right? Don't trust in it. They, they, they may believe that it's true, but they don't trust in Jesus. We know there are many people out there like that. It might be that people who never hear wouldn't have believed it anyway. Now, why do we say that? Because here's what it says in Acts 17 when Paul's on Mars Hill. Here's what he says. From one man God made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth, and he determined the time set for them and the exact places where they should live. God did this so that men would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he's not far from each one of us. God has so pre preordained the universe that he's put people in places where they can find salvation if they truly want it. And if they're in a place they can't, God will get them a dream or a vision or something so they can accept Christ to be saved. 